This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. We're doing another video review today, uh, this time an iPad review. As you can see, I've got my iPad right here ready to go, and the app in question ready to go as well. The app in question is Ricky Ticky Tabby. Um, from the Rudyard Kipling uh, Jungle Book fame. Some of you may be familiar with it. If you're like me, you grew up with this story. And uh, you're probably pretty excited to see the rest of this review. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to hit that and get straight into things. Um, let's see, I've been uh, playing with this, so I've kind of got the, uh, the menu already set up here. Um, let's see, how do I get back? Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. So, essentially, um, what this app is, is a direct translation of Ricky Ticky Tabby from the original Rudyard Kipling uh, writing to the iPad, and in full HD flavor as well. So, uh, here's the first page, just to give you an example. Uh, this is how the app starts off. Um, and essentially, everything is laid out exactly as you'd expect it to be in a book format. So, you've got text and, uh, you know, usual children's illustrations, things like that. And, uh, and also one of the cool things you can do with this is you can move almost everything in this. Um, for instance, you can move the uh, dragonfly there and knock him around. You can uh, mess with Ricky Tiki Tabby, move him about. And uh, nice touches like that. You know, these things add a, a new flavor to children's literature that's not possible with traditional media. So it's always good to see innovations like this. We really like this kind of thing because it really shows you the potential of this technology in the long run. You know, this isn't just for playing Angry Birds when you're bored. There's a lot of uh, potential for this kind of thing. And so, just straight off the bat, I'm going to say this is a fantastic example of how, how, how iOS is moving into the future. This kind of thing is uh, where we're going as far as education goes. And uh, it's just fun for your kids. I mean, if you have small children, they're going to love just messing with this kind of stuff. And it looks great, too. The artwork is consistently good throughout the entire book. I'm just going to bump a couple pages in here just to show you. You know, it, it's great. They put a lot of effort into making this look good. Oh, sorry, that was actually one of my favorites. Um, this little snail you can play with. He's attached to the uh, chameleon up there. They put a lot of effort into making this look good, and uh, the text is all here. It's all original. Um, I recognized, you know, everything in this, so uh, I haven't compared it directly to the original, but I trust them, and, you know, and it seems right. So, uh, and uh, here's another example of uh, what they've done. You can actually move the tilt sensors, and then it will go around. Just, you know, things like that that are uh, designed to entertain and educate and, you know, just have your, let your child have a fun time, which is the entire point of the story to begin with. I mean, that's why we write these things. So, let's see what else needs to be said. Um, you can also have the story read to you. Yeah, it seems that he's going to start at the beginning of the story. I actually didn't know that. Um, yeah, it seems that way. Okay, that's a little disappointing, um, especially if you have to take a break, say. Um, oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Uh, he will actually read page by page. Okay, that's good. Apparently, you just have to start at the beginning and then work your way through page by page. So that's a little bit of a drag. I actually didn't realize that until now. Um, so I apologize for the delay there, but uh, that, that is a bit of a knock, uh, but not too much. So anyway, as I was saying, you can have the story read to you, which is nice. Um, I'm going to turn him off so you can hear me. You can also have the, the, they've included a music track that you can run in the background as well. So there you go, just a little bit of Indian flavor to go along with the story. So the combination of that plus the story being read to you, leaves the option for the child to sit alone with this and uh, go through themselves, which is always nice. You know, sometimes you're busy and you just uh, you can leave this with your child um, while you're out and they can uh, play with this themselves, which is always good. And, uh, yeah. So, I guess that's about all of the uh, features this app has to offer. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just pop back into the uh, the uh, main screen, so to speak, to access, okay, this is worth mentioning, to access the other pages, you are going to have to figure out that there's a vine up here that needs to be pulled down. Um, it took me a while to do this. You kind of have to play with everything on the screen. Um, and that's one of my few complaints with this app is, first off the bat, you have to figure out that you have to actually slide, um, you know, to change pages or use little leaves. And then uh, figuring out what is actually... Um, uh, playable as far as touching things you know that that gets a bit challenging 
Um, but not too hard. I mean, that's kind of the fun of discovering this app as well. So anyway, um, let's just go back to, say, page one. I'll give you my final wrap-up. So in essence, Ricky Tiki Tabby is a fantastic app. It's a great example of where uh, iOS is going in the future, and it's already here as far as quality goes. This app is free in the App Store, which is also a tremendous boon. Uh, you can grab this immediately and start reading to your child. However, it does come with ads um, for the first couple um, well, not sorry for the first couple pages. Every every now and then as you change a page, there will be a small ad across the bottom. However, you can pay a $1.99 fee in-app purchase to remove those ads, which, uh, you know, in my opinion is worth it. Um, I'm Having ads in a children's book is just not really acceptable in my opinion. Um, it really throws off the groove, so to speak, and then who wants to explain to a child that the, the app has ads, you know, so... Yeah, it's, it is a bit steep, though, $2. Um, I wish they just paid, um, I don't know, it, it's kind of a tricky scenario because at the same time, the app is free if you want it, and it's ad-supported, which is nice that they've done that. But uh, it's essentially a $2 app if you just want the app itself without the ads. So bearing that in mind, this is definitely worth $2. The, pre the presentation is amazing. The quality of this app is great. They've put a lot of effort into it, and the artwork is fantastic. Um, it complements the story extremely well, and I couldn't have asked for better. And as well, the reading is good. Um, we've looked at some apps before where the reading quality is not very great. The sound quality is amazing as far as the narration goes. The music is good as well. So in essence, this is a very tight package that's definitely worth $2. However, the presentation as far as the ads go, you know, that's questionable, but not bad. So all in all, I'm going to give this a 4.5 out of 5 star rating because I think it is a wonderful app. And your child is going to enjoy this immensely. And at the root of this, that is what we're going for, is an entertained child. And uh, this is a fantastic story that all children should hear, in my opinion. I mean, I'm no expert. I'm not Dr. Spock. But it's a great story, and this is a great way to present the story. And I want to thank the developers for making this app. It's a brilliant addition to the market. So, 4.5 star rating out of 5. And this is available for free in the App Store with a $1.99 in-app purchase to remove ads. This has been Luke Patrick with the iPhone app .com, just reviewing Ricky Tiki Tabby. Uh, you guys can check out more of our video reviews on our YouTube channel or go to the iPhone app .com for more of our written reviews. We've got a ton of those as well. So thanks for tuning in, you guys, and we'll check you later. Bye.